what are you hearing about Jason Witten within your building? I mean, Mort's well, all over this story, but what are, you, what are you hearing about her? Uh, I'm, I'm hearing what Witten's hearing. I mean, I'm hearing what Mort's hearing, basically. Or I'm hearing from Mort is all I can tell you. Funny story, though, I will tell you this. Uh, uh, you know, the, Rich, as you well know as well, uh, like anyone else that does this, uh, you have to time a certain, certain things uh, just right, including bathroom breaks. And at one point, I was running to get one last bathroom break in before the start of the draft. And we have our green room back there where you and I took our picture. We always do that every year. Yes. Uh, before, before the start of the draft. And there, I'm walk, uh, I go in to you know, use the bathroom in our green room, and there's a guard outside the door that says, hey, you, you, can't, you can't go in there. I'm like, what do you mean I can't go in there? I show my badge, and I open up, and lo and behold, Jason Witten's in there having a few conversations. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Good, good to see you guys. Moving on. Uh, and that's all I know. That's mm-hmm. all I know at this point. With Brass or Jerry Jones, or was he going number one himself, With people, Trey? Oh, okay. With oh, people. the green room. I see. Okay. Gotcha. Very good. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Trey, fun stuff. I really appreciate you calling in. You take care of yourself, no. okay? We'll chat. Rich, always good to see you, and always fun to have a good time with you on Draft Weekend, and we'll talk soon. Okay, you got buddy? it. You got it. That's uh, Trey Wingo, co-host of Golik and Wingo. I heard that, too, by the way. I, we talked about it on Friday, Jim. We did. That Witten's there with all ESPN brass and CAA agents were crawling all over the place like they were <laughs> part of the ESPN management team. And now Witten is, according to Mort's all over the story. Again, he's, he's right there. This is all involving ESPN and Dallas, which is, you know, his forte, and the Jones family. It's a tough spot for Witten because – there's going to be only one more crack at playing football, 16th season. This is it. If he wants to do it one more time, and Dallas may feel that even though no, I don't think anybody feels that they're close to winning a Super Bowl right now. In the building, I'm sure they do. Two years ago, they were 13-3. and three, and, and I know the receiver situation is a bit of a mess, but it's pretty much the same damn team with some more young players that they hope can f- fare well, like Leighton Van Der Esch, their first-round pick. Um, but so he's got that in one ear. And then ESPN saying, our Monday Night Football booth's open. You want to join it right now? Romo, there was only one window of opportunity for Romo to join Nance, and that was last year because they were going to fill that role otherwise. And then who's the other one coming in? The other network coming in. That's got to be Fox. It's got to be for Thursday Night Football. Went and signed a five-year c- new contract last season. Do six and a half million this year from the Cowboys. What do you think he'd be getting from ESPN? Well, it's got to be more than that. They more than be- that. Well, it's his leverage. You want me ESPN? You pay me like what? Am I going to take a pay cut to go in the booth? You want me? This is it. You're going to pay Jason Witten $7 million to sit in the Monday Night Football booth? Do you want Jason Witten in that Monday Night Football booth or not? Wow. They might pay him less. I don't know. What the hell do I know? I'm, I, I'm I sitting there for the NFL Network, but that was that would be my play if I'm Jason Witten. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.